Greetings and salutations, everyone. This is Jason Bitbender Brink, and I am here with Anita. Anita! And we are going to talk about some games, and we're going to talk about some other cool stuff uh, coming up here. Um, I'm just getting the... Uh, I'm just getting the uh, the different notes and everything up and running. I kind of came in hot. You know how that goes sometimes. It's like it's almost like we're busy doing some stuff here today, Anita. Do we have anything happening today that, that you're aware of? Oh, tons. Tons and tons. But we're going to talk about all of that today, aren't we're, we? We're going to talk about all of it. We're going to talk about all of it. Okay, I need to get I need to get the link open. Okay. Wrong messaging. I have literally six messaging apps on my computer right now, and I know that Paul sent me a message in one of them. I think it was Slack. There it is. There it is. I just wanted to get the uh, wanted to get the YouTube up and running so I can answer questions there. And then That's I've right. got the uh, head of the game show notes up and running. Well, in the meantime, uh, for everyone oh that's God. joining, make sure you like and subscribe. Show us some love. Hit that notification bell. Okay. Make sure that uh, you're notified for all of our latest uploads. Everything like that. Like and subscribe. I think <laughs> that it is important that you do that because I think that people are going to be more likely to listen to you than me. That's my that's my thought. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share this in the music Discord uh, and into Gala Gold as well. There's a bunch of questions that people are going to have, and we look forward to talking through some of these questions. We actually just dropped some interesting ecosystem updates today. Um, okay, I give up posting things. I just have too many things going on to do it all at once. I can't. I can't do it. Um, Nephilim Haas, if you are listening to this, please go drop announcements in uh, the games and the music discord. And also make sure you hit the node channel in uh, the music discord and Galagold, please. Anyway, we're just going to dive in and do some of the uh, some of the updates directly. One of the ecosystem updates that we have is that we just released a new uh, gas bridging fee calculation. So that is a an important thing that we have just pushed live, and I think that it is uh, it, it is extremely important that you guys understand how that works because essentially. Just very, very quickly, the way gas bridging or the way the bridging from Gala Chain to Ethereum used to work is that there would be a set amount, uh, of sort of a flat fee that was charged. The problem with this flat fee is because we somebody has to pay to actually mint the tokens on Ethereum. About half of the time, we ended up, would end up paying more than the bridging fee for the bridge. So we bumped the bridging fee up. That wasn't so great either because then the, the fee was higher than it should be. And it doesn't really take into account uh, sort of the, the intent behind uh, gas fees. And that is to incentivize node operators to continue operating their nodes and to burn gala. So there's an entirely new structure that has been pushed out right now that takes per channel usage into account for bridging. Um, as well as uh, Ethereum prices and things like that. So uh, anytime you bridge something out, you obviously need Gala, but that Gala, the, the fee in Gala can vary depending on the usage in that specific channel. Um, and so definitely take a look at that. Uh, there's going to be a knowledge base article pushed out here shortly, as well as an article uh, on, our, on our blog. Um, Okay, we have new knowledge base articles. And in fact, actually stepping back, we have a music takeover happening in a little bit. So if you're here for music, definitely make sure that you hang out because there's some really cool stuff to talk about. We're going to talk to some really cool people here. Um, but in addition to that, we have some new knowledge base articles that went out this week, including Poker Go Play, Full Family Allowances, Gala Chain Allowances, The Walking Dead Empires, NFTs. Um, and we update uh, our knowledge base frequently, and you can access that at support.gala.com. So check that out. Um, then we'll just get to the direct. Oh, that's right. Eternal Paradox. Breaking news. That always surprises me. I love it. Launch happened yesterday, so get playing, people. The previous playtest had an event in which people could win games once, uh, win, win gems once the game was live. 
we will be sending out these rewards soon, so make sure your Gala Games account is linked before December 11th to receive those rewards. Uh, check our Discord for links to the light paper, the official e-time contract address, and the official trailer. It is an epically fun game, and uh, even Benefactor is quite addicted to it right now. We were playing Civ, and we had to hit to turn off uh champions arena the other day um or not champions arena eternal paradox the other day to continue playing civ which made me uh made me pretty happy and over to you anita for some miranda's updates there we go thank you all right so for miranda's uh we want to say thank you to everyone for a very very successful shipwreck crate sale we sold out on the same day so i hope like everyone pulled some super kick-ass stuff um in that same vein we do have a locker trailer that we'd like to share with you guys let's take a look <laughs> How cool is that every time I see trailers from Miranda's I'm always like oh my god love them love them love them love them um, next surprise we do have for you guys from Miranda's is a wallpaper that we haven't seen yet check it out yay Miranda surprises today super happy about it all right so moving on we got champions arena so we have a new battle pass season four and this actually started yesterday now with all of this comes updates right so we have a new champion akumu let's check him out <laughs> Is this the end? Death has come upon me. I'll be back. Do you want this cursed power? I am loving all the visual treats today, you guys. All right. Um, moving on. Sorry, I just missed this. Um, there have been added growth packages for the new legendary um, champions Azazel and Bishop. And on top of that, um, any display uh, champion VP bonus points should now be fixed as well. And back to you, Jason, for The Walking Dead Empires. I'm almost positive it's as. Uh, see, now you said it weird. As a Zazzle. Is that how it's pronounced? I don't think it's a Zazzle. A Zazzle. That's, that's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, a Zazzle. That's a whole different thing. Azazel. <laughs> Is, ooh, is the type ooh, of person okay. who sticks a spear through your chest. Okay, that's, so the tone. Gotcha. There, there's a there's a tone. There's a there's a gutturalness. I make to it, it sound there's, too pleasant. You do a zazzle. The, the new <laughs> champion, a zazzle, is is here to a zazzle your kitchen up. It's gonna be wonderful, guys. Okay, game updates in the past week for the Walking Dead Empires. Holy crap, guys! This is a long list, so I'm just gonna run through it, and I'm just gonna read exactly what they've given me because I've been having a ton of fun playing The Walking Dead Empires. I don't know if you guys have been watching my stream, um, but I've been playing a lot of this, um, and yeah, there's a lot of updates that they've just pushed. Refinement contracts no longer need to be in proximity of the workbench and can now be accessed across the entirety of your buildable area. Super helpful because it was really irritating to have to like move your workbench around and things like that. In-game chat should no longer crash while switching tabs. Spawning will no longer occur inside other users' bases during zone transitions. 
That's wonderful. That's fantastic because you know what? That is that was a very, very frustrating thing. Hardwood axes and hardwood stone picks are now accessible at tier three. Axes and picks have been combined into two subcategories instead of four in the crafting menu. HP repair costs should now reflect the previous changes concerning hardwood and hard stone. Um, you can toggle between uh, manual casting and smart casting abilities. Um, uh, the crafting menu will guide players into the crafting construct based on the required level for building or upgrading. Audio and display issues have been addressed. Uh, UI counting error has been addressed. Cooldown timer between zones, logging in and out has been corrected. Walker hordes will pick up individual walkers around the horde. That's cool. So that means bigger hordes. Um, and we fixed the revive button saying revive at home when there is no HQ. And equipped items will be usable after selling has been corrected. So that's... Uh, I've had so much fun playing uh, The Walking Dead Empires. I highly encourage everyone to jump in. I think that it is one of the Web3 games that uh, people really need to see and play. Um, Anita, back to you for Common Ground World. Thank you. All right, Common Ground World. So Gala Chain allowances are set for most of the NFTs in the treasure chest. However, they are still being worked on, so they're not all completely done yet. Uh, the town hall, don't forget about it. It's going to be tomorrow at the usual time, 8 a.m. Pacific time. Don't forget to get those questions in. Submission link can be found in our Discord, okay? So if you don't submit, we're not answering. So make sure you get your questions in. All right, up next we have Legends Reborn. Uh, we are working, work is continuing on getting the game fully working and accessible in the gala test environment. More ex exciting, unexciting feature work, the mail system, the leaderboards, the results is being done. The rental system has been written up and has been written up and uh, I believe they're testing, hopefully sometime to begin. Uh, economy work is still happening. So this is a big series of important discussions that will continue happening until a really, really good solution is found. Back to you, Jason, for some Poker Go Play. Okay, so Poker Go Play. We've missed the last couple weeks of playing poker, but hopefully there will be some interesting poker uh, stuff coming up over the next week in a bit or so. Uh, the Week 14 sweepstakes has officially concluded, paving the way for a spotlight into Week 15. There's another exciting prize pool of 350,000 gala to be claimed. Week 12 winners have also been announced in the Discord. Congratulations to all the winners. Everyone should be receiving their rewards today is the idea. And then back over to you, Anita, for some updates on Legacy. Thank you. So with Legacy, the 22 Cans team is working through the users that require a hot fix uh, to get past Vic's challenge. And in doing so, they've actually discovered uh, some issues with the workers from NFT buildings um, that create problems for them to get these fixes done. So until this can be corrected, they can only help uh, the users without the NFT buildings for now. So please be patient as they work through these issues, okay? And last but not least, just because there is no game updates doesn't mean you can't play the game, doesn't mean you can't jump into Discord and ask us questions, okay? We are in there quite often. If you have a specific game question that you're not hearing an update on, shoot us messages in there. They will be answered. They are looked at, okay? And back to and you, Jason. Thank you so much. And Jehoon, you can't huddle with me right now because I'm live. You know that. <laughs> Oh, what are you Jay doing, man? What are you doing, Jehoon? I'm on the screen right now with Layla. Uh, well, Layla's, you can't say, oh, never mind. I screwed up. Um, okay. He's asking me questions. I am literally reading no, Jehoon. this no out questions. as I type <laughs> on the, the live AOTG. Sorry. Sorry, guys. He was asking questions and he needed answers right now. And apparently I'm the only one who has those. Uh, it happens. Okay. So what I want to do now is that we are going to have a little bit of a music takeover because we've got some cool stuff happening today. So with that, cue the cool stuff. Cool stuff. 
call. What? Who is this? Who's this person here? What's going on, Jason? How you doing, man? I, you know what? During the during the little video thing that just played, I was looking for my taco hat. I have a hat that says taco. I know it is in here somewhere, but I cannot find it. So I was it was going to be taco and then Bitbender wearing a taco hat, but I, I, I couldn't get it. Every morning... I go to my mailbox waiting for an invitation to ahead of the game and it's finally here. I'm doing it's it. It's it's finally here. You're here, man. I'm glad. I'm very very glad to have you here. Um so what's what's going on in uh, in in music, man? What what do we what do we got? We got a few things a few things popping these days, huh? Oh, there's not much going on. Before we talk about music, can I clarify it's pronounced Azazel? Is that right? Azazel? It's Azazel. Is that the name of the hero? Could, I like Azazel, <laughs> like like Azriel, or you know, it sounds very like uh, angelic. You know, Azazel, doesn't yeah, it? That's fair. You, it's you're, not like Azaz, right. Azazel. Just isn't like nobody's afraid of Azazel. Sorry. Yeah. No. I I got gotcha. you. Uh, yeah. Music. We've got a few things happening right now. A few, a few uh, things happening. Yeah. It feels like the floodgates are opening. Yes, they are. They, at long awaited, a long awaited floodgates are opening, and uh, people seem uh, seem pretty excited. People seem pretty excited. Not gonna lie, they're super excited. Uh, something about a token going live at some point. Was there a token? Uh, I didn't. Uh, something, uh, some sort of token thing happening. I guess. Um, we also uh, we also have someone else uh, that we're gonna chat a little bit with. So, are you talking so about the the legend that is the, the legend, the legend that is Layla? Should we should we should we bring her up here too, and we can all uh, hang out and chat together? I think that'd be great. And I'm the kind of person who likes the discomfort created when you call someone a legend who does not want to be called a legend. No, no, it, it, and she she. She is probably somewhere between laughing her ass off and cringing right now, uh, <laughs> off screen. Um, is, is so so maybe maybe is she is she here, Paul? Can we bring her up? There, there we oh, can, can we all can, can all three of us cringing. be here or just a, whoa? Look at that! Look at that! Look at why are you cringing, Layla? You shouldn't cringe. Does legend imply um, age and history? Well, no. So, so <laughs> technically, you'd have to be you'd have to be uh, like one level up to have it imply age. You'd have to re reach ancient tier. Um, you know, because okay. legendary and ancient, <laughs> it's 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 a whole different. It's a whole different. It's basically you're way above common though. So that's that's fantastic. I, I'm um, still, you know. Innovation requires uh, us to be open and new, so it kind of takes away legend status, right? That is that is that is fair. Um, You're Paul, right. Is there any I chance cringe. we can get all three of us up here for a little bit? Okay, Paul's working on that. We I didn't mean to have I didn't mean to like throw taco to the side because one knows one should never abandon tacos. But if he says something, you can you can still you can still hear him. Um, so. This is this is your you've talked to the community a little bit before while playing poker. 
with with me and Jehoon. I don't think you've ever talked to the community quite like this before, have you? I haven't. No. Would you I like to <laughs> would you like to introduce yourself to to the community? I'm you Layla. don't have to. This and, is Layla, guys. And it's just it's an honor to be here. I'm so excited. I really am. I I think that um before I was involved, before I even, you know, got to meet the goat, which is you. So I guess you're the legend too. Um, I I just knew how important Gala was and, and how important the space is. And so, you know, I gotta go out with a bang, which means I've gotta work with the best for uh, my last go. And here I am. Well, we are absolutely ridiculously delighted to have you here. And I know that the community is going to have all sorts of crazy questions. And I'm going to have all sorts of crazy questions because this is the, you're one of those people that I am very happy to be able to have a, a conversation with live because that means I can ask you questions. And there's no like dancing away from it because it's just like, here's the question. <laughs> we're, we're having a conversation now. So I get to ask all the weird stuff that I'm super curious about. Um, one of the things that I've, I've noticed in, in talking with you uh, every single time I talk, I talk to you, um, you are like the most humble, self-deprecating person that I think I've probably ever met. Um, and and then event every once in a while we'll be hanging out and you know you'll talk about you know how you used to work with the company that managed Madonna or you used to um, and you always have like some anecdote and it always just like sneaks out in a way that like it, you're, it's not like a name drop it's not like the way that a lot of people do it it's just a very uh, humble statement of fact. So what I would like to know, okay, is what is one weird thing that I don't know about you that you think would surprise everybody listening? Oh my gosh, one weird thing that, that you don't know about me. You, I could probably tell you so many things. I don't know I'm what sure. would surprise anyone. Um, but yeah, I... I have a lot to share about my journey and everything I've learned and my time living in Central America and, and the blessing I've had to travel and, and see a few things so that we can kind of get out of our boxes. And the thing is, I don't like this industry. So here I am and, and I've been in an industry that I've never been a fan of the industry but i'm a huge fan of artists and the impact artists make and the possibility of what we can do and so blockchain and this new technology what i see is we get to get away from the industry we get to get away from this hierarchy and um that we get to to experience the art we get to shift how we engage and and so that's one of the things that was so exciting to me is that I can contribute and be the mistake that many people don't need to make because I've done everything I could to make all the mistakes to have something to offer now and I just I believe that we can do this collectively I am excited about all genres of music although it looks like I've only worked in one genre I've actually worked across the board in many um, and I just want to see a holistic approach to who's your favorite tackling punk artist? <laughs> who's your favorite? Oh, gosh, artist? you know, I I still love Xene. You know, I spent a lot of time back in the day. Do you know who Xene is? Or I, I Black do. Flag or Earth, Fear? I mean, I Henry Rollins. Henry my... Rollins is my freaking <laughs> god. Okay, I just want to be very clear about this. <laughs> I want to be very clear about um, this. Massive, massive, massive fan of Henry Rollins. So, well, oh, I, oh, you got to play entry, your Get Plucked taco. Taco's been busy with the Get Plucked. It's good. Well, I, I definitely started early on in punk. It was the rebel music of my generation. And that's probably why I'm here excited to be at Gala or Rebels. You know, we were ahead of the curve. We know that. This isn't going anywhere. 
And if you're fortunate enough to know before the world catches up, it's kind of like the internet when everyone said, ah, whatever. And those of us that got online, we knew. And so if you're even in this chat or paying attention or people join you weekly, they're ahead of the game. So I like to be ahead of the game and, you know, my grandkids and kids are all gamers. How could I not know how important this is? And no other platform is as smart as this team. You got it all. And I, I get to be here and participate. We're, we're trying super, super, super hard. It is, it has been a journey. It has been an absolute struggle from, from day to day. Um, Let's see. It's here. supposed I'm to be. You're an off. innovator. The, the yeah. inno innovators don't have it easy. And for anybody that has a mountain of complaints, they miss the whole boat. This is something we have to do together. Consumers, artists, tech folk, all, all hands on deck. And being ahead of the game means you don't get to sit around criticizing and complaining. You have to show up and, and help to be the change in it. So these first couple of years are supposed to be rough and we're supposed to take those um, obstacles and turn them into challenges and work together. And, and so five years from now, we can all laugh at how, you know, I know you only sleep three hours a night, right? <laughs> Who sleeps? <laughs> nobody, nobody here sleeps. We're all, we're all pushing so hard. It's ridiculous. Um, so I, 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 yeah. I am honored to have you here. I am absolutely in awe of your your uh, experience in the industry and the the level of uh, the level of of connection and connectivity that you you are bringing to the project. Um, you, you and I had had the privilege of of working uh, side by side a little bit when I went to Los Angeles for the uh, Earl Sweatshirt uh, kickoff, and we did some cool stuff with Rep, and that was a ton of fun and. Uh, that was actually the first time I, I met Jae Hoon um, in in person as well. Um, absolutely epically cool uh, experience, and it's just a, a, a wonderful wonderful privilege to work with you. Thank you so much. And, and so and Taco's I'm, been on. The show. I'm going to be on with Taco tomorrow, right, Taco? Or is he here with us? <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Taco's Taco's right there. Taco's right there. Um, and so I'm, I'm going, I'm also watching just so you guys know, I'm watching the, uh, Gala Gold chat and to a lesser extent, uh, the YouTube chat, if anyone has any, any questions, um, you know, I, I think that, uh, that, you know, anything, anything that you guys want to know, that would be, uh, go ahead and, 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 uh, ask let's, uh, let's see. Um, so yeah, and what would you say in what what is it about this approach to music that you find so interesting? Well, I um in my early formative years in music, I started in punk, then I was in world music. I was in an all Nigerian band, and then eventually I met Tupac and and entered hip hop. And so I've been um, on the ground when art forms were not acknowledged, when there was no category. And so what I love is here we are again. There is no category. There is no boundaries or limits to what we can do. We, um, it can't be all about artists because then the company doesn't succeed. It can't be all about the company or artists don't succeed. And yes. what what this has given us the opportunity to do, if anyone's ever watched the movie A Beautiful Mind, you know, he had an economic theory and that theory required everything to be for the whole. You had to serve the community, you had to serve spirit, you had to serve um, all aspects. It was you and me. It wasn't just one of us. So I look at Gala kind of like his economic theory in a beautiful mind. We have to serve all equally. We have to care just as much about the company as the artist. 
Did I cut yeah. you off? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you you didn't. You didn't. It's just hilarious because here you are. You're describing you're describing the Nash equilibrium, right? The Nash equilibrium <laughs> is is you know brilliant economic theorem, fantastic. Uh, Nash was was brilliant, slightly insane, but brilliant. And I know that there's several people, one of which I just muted for a week in Gala Gold, who are thinking. Oh my God, she's a communist. She's totally a communist. She just said that we have to all work together. This is bullshit, communist woke bullshit. And I have I have just uh, <laughs> muted them, and that cracks me up because it's like brilliant economic theorem, and then what people take from that sometimes is hilarious. Um, Rob Dgen, launch the music token is uh, Taco. Can we give it time? Are we allowed to say a time? Yeah, hundred percent. You can give it time. What's the time, Taco? I, I'm not saying a time. You can say a time. Oh, oh, that's what that was. That was a. That was like a. You do that. Oh man, that's one of those. That's one of those things where it's like, Dad, can I have a this? And he's like, I don't know. Can you? Um, so while you give a time, can I just say this is the most woke platform we could have? <laughs> is that it, well? It, it's <laughs> but, but but that's that's the that's the that's the funny thing is that that it, and this is one of those reasons that words are so ridiculous, um, because that entire concept just simply doesn't fit. Um, <laughs> somebody's industry plant lizard people, ha 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 ha, see money. Um, so so yeah, no the 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 thing that that I always find so interesting about about all of this is that there is no greater uh, there is no greater place for freedom and self representation and self sovereignty than the blockchain space. There is no form of art that is more focused on freedom and self sovereignty and owning yourself and owning your own mission than than music. And I think when you bring these two things together, you have like a, you know, freaking mechazord of freedom uh, that everybody that's should absolutely love. Yeah, yeah, exactly, I mean, exactly. And, you know, I'm from the U.S. I grew up in capitalism. I'm not a communist, <laughs> but I believe that um, that together we can all win. So I, I will say that. I think there we can all be successful. Exactly. 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 Um, so let me go ahead. Uh, talk about I'll, yeah, I'll tell you what. We didn't pre-plan any of this. I did not expect us to be defending ourselves um, against <laughs> communism. This is this got wild. You, you, hold on. Wait. Hold on. Give me just a moment. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm dropping off camera for just a second. <laughs> Go for it. I, I like this. We can talk about music or give it to us straight, Layla. Are you a communist or not? <laughs> Come on. What I mean is in the music business. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, we're ready. We we're ready now to we're get ready. the communism. Okay. Ditch the helmet. Yes, I have a helmet in my office because, of course, I do. Why wouldn't I have a helmet in my office, right? Um, okay, guys. So, question: When uh, when Gala Music launch? Very, very soon, guys. The, uh, Taco, I'm happy to say a time. I just don't know that I have the right time. I, I can you DM me the time and make sure I'm not like stupid because I'll totally say it. Uh, I can DM you the time. I think it is. Uh, is this like one of those fun games where like well okay so minute. here let, let, let me let me actually let me be really clear about one thing we there's there's th there's there's things that happen with us and then there's things that happen with external partners okay we don't control the time that anyone externally does anything we don't control whether or not they do anything um and this is always this is always 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 been uh a a hilarious thing in the space because people always think that we we do control everything we don't um the the thing that i think is going to be happening here is i know that changes to the the bridging system are shooting shooting here um sorry i'm reading the comments um 
the changes to bridging are going live here shortly. And then once that happens, then token minting should be turned on. You'll be able to swap your beams for music uh, within the next hour or two. Um, and then after that, whenever exchanges decide to open things up, that's when they open things up. I know that uh, HTX has said that they're uh, listing. Gate has said that they're listing. Uh, I believe Probit has said that they're listing. And I know that there's a few others that have mess reached out to us as well. So those are some of the things that I know are happening. And that should be happening here uh, shortly. Um, as far as when the rest of this happens, um, it's going to be interesting to to watch this unfold. But any other... What do you... Uh, this is a question from the Zorro Gala. What do you find most attractive about the Gala music e ecosystem, Layla? The, the possibilities are endless that we don't have to be in a traditional calendar traditional releases i really believe in freedom for artists to speak to not be censored for people to be able to use their voices and and so gala provides all that we um we don't have limits borders boundaries we um can support artists and still fight for the company success at the same time. I mean, there's a lot more, but those are some of the things that interested me immediately in blockchain and the possibility of changing the fabric of what it is to be in music and creativity. And it's a business. So how do we educate our artists to, to be empowered to take their business in their own hands? How do we support this community that feels ownership and, and they're partners with these artists? So it's like, you actually get to build a real community and we've lost what it is to have community. When um, I was an artist, we didn't have social media. We had to fight to have a real community show up for us. So now we get to have a global community they get to be invested and we get to do it together. And so, you know, when like, I, I love Jewel. I brought Jewel to the platform. Jewel was 13, wrote her first songs in my class. She, um, she's just starting, but she actually has a real community in Gala. She didn't go the traditional route. Her very first releases were right here on Gala. And she's going to be a massive artist. One thing I do have is I have an eye and an ear. And I, I know I'm pretty good with that. I have a good track record. So when I say Jewel has the potential to be a global artist, I know that from experience. And I know that the Gala team was her first entry into the world. Well, guess what? Now Jewel already has a viable, committed community believing in this young teenager. And I mean, that is so exciting to me and we're only going to grow it more and we can claim you know as a company that we were the first to launch her to the world in this non-traditional way that um that everyone that participated including me because even though i might know an artist i still buy things i still show up i still want to be invested in what i believe in and I just want to see it on a bigger scale. I want to see us, you know, tapping the country market, which is one of the biggest markets there are, the rock market. I want to just see us as innovators change um, on a fundamental, in a fundamental way, how we consume and, and what real showing up looks like. And, and I want to have concerts on platforms like this and, you know, feel like everyone's in the room. Get more stuff going with stage. Get some more tipping going there. I'm super excited about that. Um, um, uh, let's. Uh, what was the question here? Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, where did it go? I just saw one. Where did it go? Oh, question. Um, this is from Mizamir, and I really like this. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the the question. He, he actually asks, "I want to know what it was like teaching poetry to Tupac." But I'm gonna rephrase that a little bit and say, "I want to know what it was like teaching poetry to some of these fantastic, great people that have come through your classes over the years and and helped with your classes as well." I, um, it was an amazing time. I was young. It's when we were starting out. 
I was such a know-it-all and now I'm older and think I don't know anything and it's the young people that know so much. So it's really funny to see my own evolution. I, um, I'm blessed that I, I got to learn at that time and see, you know, I did put the Tupac poetry book out with his mom. We were able to use the funds for years and it's still a, a great seller. And we were able to use a lot of the funding from the poetry book to help youth that didn't have families at home, that didn't have access to education, that needed programs. And I, I really believe in being cause related. I don't believe in identifying a cause for anyone else, but I believe we should all have something that we give to besides our um, our own interests. And so during that time there was a group of us we wrote together i don't know if i learned more from them or they learned more from me i still have the writings from back then and you know i still do my workshop maybe i'll do a few on here you know it, it's beautiful to be able to sit with a group of artists and watch them bloom and to capture it and witness it is really exciting and since i think we've already got some really incredible artists on the platform it would be exciting to get a little more into these windows so that our um, our teams that are invested in these artists get to see the process. Like, let's go see Hope, you know, recording her next collaboration or, you know, any number of artists. I, I think there's already been a great curated list of artists and I hope to bring a lot more excitement in terms of artists to the platform. One of the things that I find most interesting about this is that with you with what you've done in the music industry um from a from a sort of commercial perspective some of the people that you found i can't think of a better place for a new artist to be than at gala music where they get to talk to you like i i, I don't know I, about I, the Part, but I agree. I can't think of a better place for them to I, be. Like I can't, I can't think of 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 a better place because I mean, you know, you you understand the market, you understand listeners, you understand music. Um, this is this is a phenomenal, phenomenal opportunity for everybody because you have like okay, me, right? You put somebody like me, right? I don't know crap about music. I know nothing. I, I, I don't know the first thing about releasing an album. I don't know any of that. Um, and so I am completely unfit to do this amazing thing that you can do. And, and possibly more than anyone else out there, you are perfect for that. So um, I am, I'm so freaking happy to have you here. Um, Thank you for the compliments <laughs> and the belief in me. Uh, Johnny boy, you should receive your uh, the ability to convert your beams sometime within the next hour or so. Um, okay, uh, Dr. Wookie. Now, you don't know Dr. Wookie yet, do you? You've never met Dr. Wookie. Okay. Dr. Wookie is a real Wookie and also a real doctor. Um, and he has a question. Um, serious question for Layla, please. With all her experience in the music industry, how is she prepared to not fall back onto the way that the music industry has done things in the past? Label, labels have helped destroy music and independent artists. How are you going to help Gala Music break the mold? Well, I've already broken the mold. I have been on the ground floor helping independent labels from day one. I was one of the people that started independent labels in the 80s. So I've never adhered to traditional releases and traditional means. And although I have done multiple deals with majors, I changed the deal structures. I was one of the first people to negotiate from seven to, to 10 points on a deal to 18 and 20 point deals. And that was in the nineties. So it's not something I have to prepare for. It's something that I breathe that exists in my being. And 
that's why I've been knocking on Gala's door now for a year and a half because Gala's moving with or without Layla. I just wanted to be part of it because I understood the value and I understood the value even more because of the success in the gaming space. Gaming has been ahead of the curve um, and ahead of the game from the beginning. It was already opening up a space for us to play globally. What better way to connect with people around the world than to play? And so gamers got it. And my goal was to educate artists and those in entertainment to understand that we had to catch up to the gamers and we have to think outside the box. So it's not always the executives that want to be in traditional spaces. Sometimes artists still think that that's where they need to be. And part of what I wanted to do was educate emerging artists so that they take the careers that they have in their own hands and free themselves to think outside of these boxes. So I don't know if I answered the question fully, but um, when I was, a, I'll, you asked me something to tell you earlier that I might not know, that you might not know about me, right? Sure. When, when I was a kid, I used to um, have these ideas about a musical pharmacy. I thought there was a song for every ailment. I thought that classical music was good for one thing. Um, drums were good for another. That sounds have such an amazing impact. And in operating rooms over the years, they've started realizing that certain music helps when you're doing operating to study you can listen to classical or opera and so i have always approached sound and music as one of the greatest healing tools on the planet so if we can be in web 3 and we can apply some of the power of music as medicine um we could really transform lives and and i just believe in the power of music i believe that it helps us have difficult conversations. It bridges gaps. Not all music. There's toxic music, too. So um, like Dr. Joe Dispenza says, if stress can kill you, um, programming your brain differently can heal you. And same thing with music. We have to pick and choose what we listen to. And what resonates with me might not resonate with you. But we're, um, we're in Web3, so we have it all now. And we can have this incredible opportunity to access music in a different way. I'm, I'm listening to Tool Lateralis right now in my in my headphones, so <laughs> I, I understand. Okay, so I have a super cool thing. I'm going to dig into a little bit. A question from Johnny Boy that I really want to answer here. Johnny Boy asks, "What is stopping artists from doing their own thing with nobody controlling them? Today's tech should allow that." Guys, that's gala music. That's the point. That's what we're doing. That's the whole point. That's the whole damn thing is, is how do we liberate artists and allow them to do their art and allow people to support artists at the very, very beginning and, and get to the point where they're pushing that artist. That was the whole thing. Um, so that's it, man. That's, that's the, that's the vision. That's why um, I'm here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, and then I have a, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Solvum Probler asks, what is Gala overall direction going forward? Um, are they going to focus on or onboarding, um, but not in the, and not in the direction of contracting with Web True Studios, but focus on in-house? There's actually a couple things. Gala's main focus going forward, Gala as an organization, okay, Gala. Our focus is on building the infrastructure to make Web3 really possible for the world. Now, there are three verticals that we have entered, okay, uh, in a major way, games, music, and film. But our focus is on building, using these three things to demonstrate how something much bigger can be built. So games, film, and music each have their own things. Uh, but it's they're they're indicative of a much larger structure that exists and can exist uh, in the background supporting all of this. Um, and at the center of that, you have the Founders Node ecosystem, the Gala token, the music token for music, eventually the film token for film. All of these things working together to to drive a an economic engine that really makes sense. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, what what would you say when you're talking about when you're talking about music that uh, resonates with you? What what would you say your favorite uh, type of music is? What what do you have in your musical pharmacy, if you will? I definitely have um, a lot of world music. I have a lot of music without lyrics, which is surprising because I've worked in an industry with people who are, are lyrics up front. It's funny to say I work with Tupac, but I listen to a lot of jazz and, and world beat music. I listen to salsa a lot. I... Um, I listen to classical music too, and then I listen to popular music. I love popular music. I I love soul and R and B and oldies, but goodies. I listen to a lot of oldies. I probably We're, listen least to the music that I've worked in the most. If that makes sense. <laughs> that's interesting. It is. It is. It, it does make sense. It's interesting. How about you, Taco? What do you got? Oh, you think you can just moderate and not not get away with talking here? No, -uh. I, I I thought I was just to bring the streams in. I thought I was just being pretty tonight. Just being pretty? No, no, you got to answer. What, what what kind of music do you like? Oh, I'm kind of all over the board. And one of the things I've really liked about being a part of Gala music is the discovery of some new genres. I didn't really understand. EDM is a great example. I just did my Spotify wrap up. Bronze Whale was number three for me for the year. And it's just like, oh, here's some genres I didn't know. Like talking to Please and Thank You a few weeks ago when we were together in New York mm. and, and expanding on what is EDM and learning about that stuff. I listen to a lot of reggaeton now because Lava nice. brought in these Latin artists. And I'm like, oh, now I, I don't reggaeton, understand any right, of Reggaeton it. is amazing. It's and, so and good. Lava, Lava had some sort of comment about not wanting to leave his Latin gang outside or something like that. And I didn't know what he was talking about. But now that makes sense. I, 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 it's, it's difficult for me to track all of the different pieces here. There's a lot of pieces. <laughs> yeah, so that's amazing. I, I, I like all of that. I, I would love to piggyback on your um, thoughts earlier, Jason, and get some punk on this platform. Can we get Henry Rollins. Does he still do stuff? Can we? Can we do that? Does he? Can we? Do you, I know you know him. I know you know him. We need to hang out. We we definitely need to to see what we can do. I agree. Can we can call we, him live on the air right now? Can we get can we get him <laughs> on with us? Don't 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 put the poor woman that much on the spot. <laughs> don't do that. Um, I, I I want to uh, I want to give some shout outs to some of the the the, the gala music artists that I've been listening to. As I, I you know over the last week I've been leaning in super 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 hard on on some of the stuff around the tokenomics and some of the platform things with the, the the entire team you guys have been amazing huge shout out to the entire team you guys are absolutely killing it but you know i i've been listening to uh a little bit of bobby Millette. i was hearing some of that you know a uh, big fan of that some of the bass jacker stuff you know the it's gala i'm a big fan there there's so much going on um okay let's see here uh, I need to say, uh, Righteous J from City of Sound is watching right now, and he's dropping the very first upgradable track tonight. And if I don't mention ooh. that, he's going to be you so got, mad at me. You got to. You got to. <laughs> get the Signature Edition 101 100s in there. Got to get that. Absolutely got to get that. Okay, let's see here. Making sure that I am me. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. Anything else? Any other questions that we have? Uh, and I'm watching, checking out YouTube. Um, how, Lava's like, how do I not know about the crew? Dude, I've not really been very closely connected to the music team for, for some time. So I've listened to things. But when I put music on, it's usually... I just start a playlist and then I just listen to it. And and if I, I, I don't usually go see what I'm listening to necessarily. Um, okay. Let 
looking f oh define uh jason hancock's define upgradable track so if you actually uh check out the white paper you can see this but basically the idea is is that at the very beginning when a track is released there's only 100 copies of that track these are the signature editions if those all get sold okay because what we don't want to do is we don't want to have like 50,000 tracks that just got bleh at once it's terrible for everybody so what we do is we release 100 uh 100 copies at once okay those once those 100 copies sell and there's a degree of demand of listen of popularity then the next tier uh, unlocks okay so you have your your and i don't even remember the entire rarity tier structure right now um but basically there's decreasing levels of of rarity so you have the the sort of you know pink tier tracks that are very common and can be you know easily acquired but then those signature edition the one of 100s uh are are the the prized uh prized pieces there okay and uh yes i will definitely learn and come hang out with you guys in miami um smiling monster do you have to remove the beams from the artist pool to trade them for music yes you do uh but <laughs> Um, you don't need to remove the beams. You can just leave them there so that the artist can see that that uh, locked amount. Um, let's see. Any questions? Looking for that. And yes, uh, too old to travel says congratulations to Lila for joining Gala. Uh, you have the experience that no other person has in the industry. Just a few minutes of listening to you. You're a humble, level-headed, smart woman. Congratulations. Uh, and somebody also says that you have a taco truck. Taco, is this true? So, guys, there are a lot of previously promised budgets for a lot of my endeavors that I think we're going to need reapproval on now, unfortunately. So uh, yeah. I, I'm yeah, feeling I'm like a, a meeting with Lila, Layla. Um, <laughs> I, I'm feeling like taco trucks maybe not going to be a thing that gets uh, gets passed there. We'll see um, what happens. Okay, uh, Johnny Boy, just to hear it from you, a few of these exchanges like HTX Gate are, are getting ready to launch music. They're not scams, right? Uh, HTX and Gate are exchanges that have been around for an extremely long time. I have no feeling whatsoever that they are scams. Uh, that said, you have things like FTX that stuff happens and we have no control over that. But I have no indication in any way, shape, or form that they are uh, they are uh, scams in any way, shape, or form. Okay, have we considered utilizing Gala Music as a label to break into some of these areas? I don't want to be a label, uh, but I know without label backing, it's difficult to even simply secure concert venues or open for other bands. Thoughts on how to put Gala Music on the map? This is from Dr. Wookie again. I think that that's a really interesting question. I don't even know how that works. How does that How does that work, Layla? I I don't think we need to think in terms of that we're a label we are an entity you have to have business and you have to have structure or nothing happens so there is um the need for structure but we'll we'll get access to these venues we will make noise when um when i started with tupac everybody laughed you know and i said he would be a household name and i pushed until that happened and i've done that with many artists over and over. So I, I, that is a skill that I, that I bring to the table. And if we start thinking of ourselves as a label, we're going to operate like a label. So I want to stay away from boxing us in to being a, a label. We, um, we're gala. <laughs> we gala. get to do it. Dip. Um, okay. So I've got a great, question here from lava and i'm going to answer this question but i want to hear what you guys think as well both of you um uh, lava asks can we expect more collaboration between the different ecosystems like films music and games yes taco are you cool with that so we can we get some can we get some music and games here i have been 
desperate for that for desperate eight, for 18 months so for if so I had my long way all of it all the things for so so freaking long i want to get music in games so badly it has been a thing that i have been pushing for forever i've met with engineers got specs and it's just one of those things that hasn't happened yet but it's going to happen i'm going to push to make it happen um and furthermore and I think that this is a really cool thing. I would love to make our stations available for other games in the industry that are not our games to integrate. I would love for them to be able to pick up a stream and plug it directly into a game. How absolutely kick-ass would it be to hop into a vehicle in gta or something like that and and hit that radio and all of a sudden you're hearing city of sound or something like that how cool would that be ammonia there's, or somebody like that's so cool there's so many opportunities all the soundtracks for all the shows and movies that we're doing even on a really simple level we have the september morning chicken and get plucked i'd love to see more artists get chickens lava brought it up bry would be a chicken i would buy day one i'm 100 down for that i'm 100 down for that um okay let's see what other questions do we have guys we got some questions monster radio incoming like i love that idea too monster radio smiling monster just just so you know uh Layla, so I'm, I'm introducing you to the community because you don't know these people and i've been hanging out with them non-stop for three years now um, smiling monster super super cool dude uh he's a very uh he's a a good streamer within the gala ecosystem super cool guy uh he is a participant of the first ever uh hangout in the shed of secrets in london uh he he and shadow knight and a few other uh people came and hang out hung out with me and we had uh we had kind of weird pizza and and good beer it was it was it was a good evening but um he he wants to have his own radio station. I love this idea. I think that this is super cool. Um, let's see. <laughs> when will we have Snoop Dogg rapping about Taco? Some some Jeffrey E has asked. Can we can we can we get that? You think we can have that happen? Okay, let's see here. Lila the Go-Getter. Uh, Steven and Co., what happens to all the older tracks with this new system? I'm super excited about this because all of the older tracks become what are called legacy tracks. So they're essentially whatever the supply is, that's it. They don't have new tiers unlocking, you know. So if there's only 100 of those tracks, there's only 100 of those tracks, and that's it. Um, so... That, from my perspective, is is really impressive. We actually have uh, one member of the ecosystem. Um, I'm not going to dox anyone right here, but um, this member of the ecosystem purchased uh, a, a decent number of tracks from one of those drops. It was a drop of 100, and they bought a, a good chunk of them as, as a way to support that artist. That song has gone on to become very popular. And that's working out quite nicely for them in terms of uh, in terms of, of of beams and going to be very soon music. Osprey says hello, Lila. Nice to have you here. Very accomplished. Doctor Wookie says beams to music conversion is live. And there we go. There you go. Smile and Monster, what is a jukebox node? A jukebox node is what the player operator nodes or whatever the, the not musical sounding thing was uh, previously. Music node. Okay, let's see. And Dr. Wookie has converted and people are buying their stuff. Um, they're getting their music. Congratulations, guys. Um, so Sigard says, so albums will go to Ancient now instead of Platinum. No, they're not actually using the game, the game structure. And I just realized that I really need to go into the Gala Music uh, chat as well. So I'm in the Node Owners chat. Um, no, Node Owners chat in the Gala Music Discord right now. 
Uh, Western Monk, you're not going to be able to bridge to ETH just yet. So that's going to happen here pretty soon. Um, I don't believe it's, yeah, it's not live yet. Okay. For anyone who didn't read the white paper, the new tiers start at signature, then they go to Pioneer, there then you go. Limited, then Standard, and then an open edition, which is available yeah. forever. Soon as in today, yes. Uh, Dev uh, Devikin Bop says, I've heard that touring can be a large portion of an artist's earning potential. Would Gala Music be working with artists to make that happen if necessary? Or do you think do you think it's possible for the entire industry to change to de-emphasize sort of the old structures that have been around for that? I think touring is important. I think being in a room and and having that experience live is just as valid. And I think that we'll be able to incorporate some tours. I see us doing some gala tours. I see us going to different campuses. We're already in talks with a few now. So um, I think we'll do both. I think that that's going to be another exciting thing for supporters and for the larger community to be able to bring um, committed fans to shows, to go do shows in person for just the community of gala that supports. So there's a lot of, wi of wiggle room in there for us to be able to explore what touring and live shows look like. So I don't think we want to exclude the live experience. Oh, oh no, I don't, de I definitely don't want to exclude. No, I don't, I don't mean excluding the live experience. I mean, more changing the way it works. Cause right now it's very, uh, yeah, we're changing the way it, it works. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. We, we're you go. Not I don't want to kill concerts. To venues. We're not going to have to do the traditional things because all it takes is a committed community locked in and you get a venue you create your own touring yeah I, I i love it okay let's see here um mm -hmm. allison mctavish would like a gala tour i think that'd be fine uh when will we receive our tracked music token distribution from when it was paused um was it do you know if it was just paused pause taco or was it were they tracking it and then they're going to distribute it all at once i'm not i honestly don't know whether that one is yeah they've been tracking it since we paused it four or five days ago i don't know what the distribution method is going to be for that let's see here uh, okay let's see oh my god i hate clicking on youtube comments Okay. Um, is there a lot of interest from artists outside? So we, how, how many artists are you talking to right now, Taco? Like so, how many, how, how many, how many things, how, how much inbound have you gotten? This is fun because earlier today, um, Eric posted in the discord, like we're, we're talking to 500 artists and I, some people were like, you guys are crazy. Uh, it's not crazy. We already had a pretty good um, list of artists um, who I've met through the community. Um, Spider Queen, who is Audra, has a and so she works with, knows a ton of artists. Just within the existing team, we had so many artists ready to go. And now, obviously, we're going to have access to, you know, a million more. Uh, Black Flag, I think we already committed to during this interview if right? we operated as a label we couldn't even have this conversation because we would be limited to timelines capacity and a label can only accommodate a very limited number in each genre so there there's another answer for why we're not going to be mm. a label because we don't have to follow any of those rules we're not on the I, tuesday I, time the release schedule is totally what different. is the tuesday timeline what's that i don't even know what that is i mean there was a where we only released on tuesdays new releases came out on tuesdays um that there's all kinds this. of schedules with a traditional company that don't exist for us 
that, there's that, radio yeah, no, we, day radio throbs all all of um the parameters that exist when you go through traditional means I think I I think it's it's so interesting to see this perspective because this is the stuff that that I I don't know I don't know any of this, you know. So, and hey, Jay Hoon is watching, and Jersey Yak Fishing wants country music. I'd be a fan of some country music too. I'm I'm a I'm a fan. Um, I have very weird eclectic tastes as well. Okay, now the other thing here is that we have 200 people right now, 200 plus people watching, and only 80 people have liked this. So either we're not very likable or or people need to squish that button, the thumbs up button. Let's let's like and subscribe and share this out because I want everyone to know what's going on here because things are getting ready to uh, getting ready to go get very interesting in this ecosystem because between this between dynamic burns that are are you know changing the way at a fundamental level the gala tokenomics work in a way that people will be very happy with um and everything else that's coming to the ecosystem everyone that we're talking to like it's it's pretty cool stuff um let's see here okay Taco Tuesday. We can have Taco Tuesdays, David 14 says. I'm down for Taco Tuesdays. I think that's a that's a requirement, pretty much. Okay, let me bounce over to um actually I'm gonna give one technical technical detail here that I think is important for people to understand about uh token launches and things like that, and how specifically pricing on our store works. Um, the way that pricing works on the store is that there's a Oracle that pings CoinGecko. CoinGecko gives back the price and then that's used to compute what exactly the price should be on the store. The problem is, is when you have a brand new token on CoinGecko, or it's not even on CoinGecko, it's a brand new token. And CoinGecko does not list until trading is taking place. So that all of those values right now are hard set. Um, so you will see uh, them change in the future um, as CoinGecko actually adds it and as the, the pricing becomes dynamic. So, um, and yeah, like billionaire, mega god, and genius says that 2K price is likely going to change. I'm sure it is, but we have to put it somewhere. And what's really critical for us and for you guys and the entire community is that we're not setting stuff in a price that is higher than what is happening on an exchange because that indicates that we might think that the price should be higher and if we make those sort of stupid statements it causes all sorts of regulatory problems so what you're going to find is us being super conservative about all of these things and trying not to talk about it pretty much at all but i wanted to explain that because i'm seeing people asking questions about it okay and let's see uh, so, what was that? Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so let's see here. Will we be receiving more slots for our nodes? Not at this point in time. Um, that is a thing that has been discussed. Um, and this kind of feeds into this kind of feeds into AA's question here. Um, right now, there's more slots than currently exists for uh for tracks but also that said uh it was the decision was made that there needed to be something on the website that people could purchase right away which is why additional nodes have been made available right now on this um i anticipate well we'll see we'll see how this goes but um, basically, as the ecosystem grows out, there was never supposed to be and there never was committed to being uh, a cap on the number of nodes or anything like that. Um, the idea was is that there would need to be many, 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 many of them to support this much content. And so that's just making it available so that people can jump in, um, jump in on that. Could founders nodes uh, pair tracks or only music nodes? Only music nodes. It's not a founders node thing. Um, let's see here. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. I'm going to bounce back over to, 
Uh, Genfinity, I think I just answered your question in YouTube. It's kind of funny. People are like going around trying to figure out exactly when, uh, when I, where I'm looking to answer the questions. Um, how come Layla doesn't have a nickname like everyone else? Sigard asks. That's a great question. A nickname. <laughs> Wait, actually, I actually thought your name was Taco. Taco. Your name's not Taco. That's not a nickname. This is my this is my given name. This, parents love tacos. It's a family they love name. tacos. It's a family name. Great. I love it. So so do do we have do you have a nickname, Layla? I do don't. We're gonna have to think about don't? that one. Maybe somebody okay. you now maybe one of our supporters might come up with something, but I have to approve it. But right now okay. they're not okay. liking us very much. Didn't you just say that there were 200 people and no one liked us? No, no, no. It's a, I think it was at like 50%, 50 but a lot of people are probably listening on their phones while driving and stuff like that. Um, let's see here. Guys, you're making us uncomfortable. If you're watching the stream, just hit the like <laughs> button. You're ruining everything. I, I got everything, guys. Don't push. It's fine. Layla Music Queen, says Luke. Lala, says Seneca. Um, here, I'll, I'll push the like button on my own, on my own YouTube that I got up here. Um, <laughs> Punjab says you don't get to approve a nickname. That's not how that works. I love it. Um, okay. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to open up the questions a little bit more. Cause one of the things that we've always done for ahead of the game is we've answered community questions on the, uh, on the entire ecosystem. So I don't want, um, I don't want people to feel uh, that they can't ask questions about other stuff. So if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and dump them in the chat. Um, and I will uh, I will try to uh, get those answered for you guys. Think, uh, Jehoon says that you need to be called Think Layla, which which <laughs> I'm sure there's a story between the Think Jehoon. I'm, I know there's a story there. I just don't know what it is. Um, okay. Thank you. Let me bounce back over to music. Okay, we don't, yeah. Uh, hey, I'm Milan says we don't have enough songs to fill slots yet. Yep, absolutely. Um, but, but the thing is, is there has been a huge amount of uh, artists that are waiting to be put onto the platform, but they needed the platform to be in a certain state. And I think those having those upgradable tracks is an absolutely critical component here. So um, I think that um, you guys uh, looking at this from an external perspective, you know, you look at it and you're like, oh, well, uh, you know, there's not enough music and you're kind of expecting there to be this like sort of trickle of of different drops yeah that's not what you're gonna get you're gonna get a fire hose of drops coming if everything goes the way that i think it's going to be going here pretty soon so um you know just just get ready for that okay let's see here and let's see Where's the like button? People can't see the like button, apparently. Maybe it's a mobile thing. Oh, apparently you have to close the live chat and then you'll see it. But that's not that's not very fun. Okay, and bouncing over here. How do you convert your beams? There should be a button that you, you push um inside your inventory so if you open your your beams uh you should be able to click a button to convert that's from bay love bay love always has questions about the ecosystem i appreciate those questions and yes good demand for music and growth of the entire ecosystem makes everybody happy i think Uh, do I have to add the token to MetaMask for it to show if I want to bridge from Galachain? Um, 
what's the ETH contract address? Uh, if you could, Nephilim Haas, if you're listening, if you could drop that or make sure that it's added to the bot for the contract address so people can see it. Um, but if you were to bridge from Gala Chain to, uh, to Ethereum, it'll show up in your wallet. Um, you may just have to add it to uh, MetaMask. Um, let me see here. What else do we have? Uh, Nicholas Blevins. I don't know. Did I miss your question? Oh my God. I cannot scroll through this chat. It's terrible. The YouTube chat is terrible. Princess Layla, he suggests. Says something about no more nodes. Will we be receiving more slots? I said no to that one. I feel like I did answer your question. Uh, when will we receive our tracked music token distribution from when it paused? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how that goes um, from an uh, exact technical uh, perspective. Um, and then I have to ask a question that the community uh, always wants to know. Pizza? Or sandwiches or taco if tacos here will will include this for sure tacos that's right or else a wrap. another another a one wrap. for team taco a wrap a wrap is just a, a burrito yeah. with a superiority that's, a sandwich. that's all a wrap exactly. is. It's a burrito no, sandwich. no 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 i am gonna i am gonna put my foot down here layla a wrap is just a burrito it's a fancy burrito that's all it is. It is a burrito with a superiority complex. That's it. And then a, a shawarma, a shawarma wrap is a is a burrito that had something very interesting go with with the tortilla. It's and and well, magic I was, happened. Well, I don't understand how that kid, happens. I I was the kid that never liked pizza, pancakes, waffles, and none of the, none of the above. So we're skipping pizza altogether. <laughs> Well, pizza, I guess unless it was pizza's a salad. amazing too. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay, um, skipping pizza is a pretty controversial uh, stance here in Gala. It, it, it well, so the, here's the question: Is it pizza with pineapple? <laughs> like, I don't like pineapple on my pizza. I think that that, that pineapple pizza is uh, uh, is 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 an abomination. They, to be honest, they used to. Have a on Abbott Kenny in Venice and they had the best salad pizzas and it was the only time I liked pizza. <laughs> salad pizza? They would have this pizza and then they would put this amazing salad on top. So you would just okay, wrap I don't, your bread. I don't, your I don't, no, no, no. I'm going to... I'm. I'm who is that we're, guy we're that called you a communist? Honest. Where'd the communist guy go? <laughs> where, where, where was that? This salad pizza? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Salad. Yeah, pizza. the food thing. We're not gonna be on the same page with the food thing, you know. I'm in my sixties. I'm trying to stay healthy, guys. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I have, I have He's energy like, drinks. Huh? Does that count? Huh? I have, I have energy drinks. So uh, it know, doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count. Energy okay, drinks fine. are not good for you. Okay. Uh, question for all: Do you see a time where we get? back to songs that span generations. This is a De Dev Devikin Bop asked this. I so so I'm going to like a tiny anecdote here. I cannot do anything in my garage without listening to Creedence Clearwater Revival. I can't. Like it is it is my garage music and there's nothing um there's nothing that that uh you know can 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 get get me away from that what about you guys do you have any multi-generational spanning music that you guys like we've been talking about this in discord a lot because uh righteous j from city of sound their their sound feels very like late 70s early 80s like that anthemic like uh sticks kind of vibe and they didn't know who sticks was and they don't know who meatloaf was and so uh it's trying to reintroduce the kids to some of that that era that I think still still works today. Hmm. I, I I dig it. I dig it. How about you, Layla? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have an answer for you on that. 
Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm going to address some stuff I'm seeing in the the node owners chat and the uh, the Gala Music Discord. Okay, um, so two two main things have to be addressed. The first is uh, the the quote unquote price that you guys are seeing. Okay, the first thing is there's two ways to do token listings. Okay. Uh, one is to price the token at a reasonable level and the other where people can enter the ecosystem very, very easily. Okay. And the other is to price the token at a very high level where people want to exit the ecosystem very, very quickly because it's, it's, they're incentivized to do so. Okay. What we're looking to do here is to bring people into the ecosystem. And what we don't want to have is we don't want to create a situation where people look at a token because this is a reality that we have to deal with. And you have a listing with a gigantic red candle as people go, ha, 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 ha. Looks terrible. People then get afraid of entering the ecosystem and it's a bad thing for everybody. What we would far rather have is a slow burn, sustainable growth that gets to the point where people are coming into the ecosystem and there's a lot of movement in the ecosystem. That is better for everybody. The second thing is the uh, bridging fees in Gala. Okay, I posted this earlier in the announcement channel on all of the discords. Uh, this is a dynamic fee system. And again, it is a V1. So if you look at it and you're like, oh my God, I don't like this, I hate it. Uh, we're collecting data. I wanted this to go out weeks ago. We're collecting data and then it will be revised, okay? So don't worry about that. If it's not exactly what you like right now, it's going to, in the long run, be modified probably quite heavily. So don't panic just yet. Um, you know, so that's that's the, the thing. Um, let's see here. Um, and yeah, just wait until you see the way things go before you get upset about stuff. Oh, man, can you imagine Taco? I think you were you were right about one of the. It was you I was talking to, right? I was talking to you about this issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good call, but um, <laughs> I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't panic too much, guys. The whole point is to get the 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 ecosystem growing and new participants in the ecosystem. Oh, there you are. You're back. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see here. I think we're coming up on the end of things for the evening. Do you have anything else that you'd like to share, Layla? It's getting dark over there. Are you okay? Is it? Is it? Yes, I like, should have gotten up and turned the light on. That's <laughs> eh, okay. Um, it's okay. Sun's going down. I'm sure. I'm just really excited, and I want to be accessible. And I hope people send more questions and comments in or take today and think about it and then meet us tomorrow on Discord. I I think we have to do it together. It's not what we want or what some, Agreed. it's it's how we are gonna work to grow this um, united. We're gonna make it happen. So that thank you. Good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here, guys. How about you, Taco? Anything you'd like to, uh, like to I'm, share? I'm super excited about A, Finding her a new nickname, which the community Super is going to, I think, come up. We have some kind of community survey contest around it. I'm also really excited about signing Black Flag. So whenever that happens, great. I love it. They're older than me. They, <laughs> they, they never stopped up, rocking. They, no. They I know. Didn't. So um, let's see. Wait, what did I... Okay. Also, we're going to have a Discord stage uh, tomorrow at okay. 12 uh, Pacific to get into oh, there you more, go. more questions. 12 Pacific. All the stuff. Awesome. Okay. Thank you guys very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you guys very much. And uh, I'm going to be in, oh, whoa, whoa, repeating, repeating everybody's there. I love it. Um, we're going to drop off for now, guys, but thank you very much for hanging out and I'll be in Discord. Catch up with you guys soon. Uh -huh.